are you speaking the same language? In other words, are you speaking the same language as the people searching for your products or services? So what I want you to do is to turn to the person next to you and to describe to them what you do. Right? First of all, what you do, what you're selling, if you like, and then describe your ideal customer. So you've got just two minutes and swap around. Does that make sense? Just see what I'm <coughs> we'll do part two once we've done part one. But part one, turn to the person next to you, talk about what you do and who your ideal customer is. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an odd one changing. Excellent, thank you. Right, now what I want you to do is each person, if you've got a little piece of paper somewhere, write down and say three phrases that you would use to describe the ideal customer. Okay, so what are the three phrases you would put into Google if you wanted somebody like your partner? Right? You see what I mean? Yeah, does everybody understand? So you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the person you've just been talking to who's told you about their business. So if you were going to want, if you wanted their service, what would you put into Google? Into, into Google, into Google, <laughs> into Google to try and find the ideal person to fill that gap. I don't make them up, but I do. I don't make them up, but I do. But you do provide them there, yeah. Anybody yeah. found anything surprising? <laughs> yes, we have. Um, Hannah makes cupcakes, yeah. Yeah. and um, we were just talking about you know, what the business is and what the opportunities are, and she said one of the things she's trying to do is to get people to send cupcakes instead of flowers if there's a baby. So I actually yes. put as a Google search, what can I send instead of flowers? Brilliant. And of course, Hannah had never considered that. Nope. Excellent, excellent. Okay, this is why it's good. Anybody else? Good idea to get somebody else to uh, give you feedback. We did... Um, about skincare products, yeah. so I went in with the um, increase your confidence, um, feel great about yourself with the way you look and feel. Um, so it's that kind of rather than going straight into the product, if yeah. somebody's typing, you know, I really want to feel good about myself. They don't necessarily know what the answer point, is. Absolutely, it? it's, it's giving them the answer to a question that they don't know the answer to. Yeah, and we had a similar one here with Bernie. Yeah. Do you want to share? Yes, I said that it's just like a, we talked about appearing. Is it going to know about the fact that I run too much cookery parties? So it's all they're going to do about is, about is to search under, you know, under parties. Yeah. 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 Children's parties, not under cookery parties. You know. So it's, I've got to get that idea, you know, over to them, haven't I? Mm. But you can have a cookery party. Yeah. I'm going to say, we'll come back. It's a really good example about the cupcakes as well, isn't it? You know, unusual presence. Mm -hmm. Unusual presence for a new baby. Well, not a new baby, but do you know what I mean? An unusual present for a wedding or something. Okay. The reason I did that is that you will understand your business really well. You will know, or you will think you know, all about your business. Your customers are coming in and they have a different language. The most extreme example I came across this was in a, um, a session I ran like this. And a lady said... Um, how do I get ranked for my business? I said, well, what is your business? She said, it's domiciliary care. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who would be your ideal customer? <laughs> and it turns out what she does is caring for the elderly in their own homes. But if I wanted somebody to look after my aging mother, there's no way I would put domiciliary care into good. I've never heard the word before, so why would I? So do you see what I mean? So you will only get found in Google where your language overlaps with your customer's <coughs> language. So it's worth spending some time asking other people. <coughs> you know, if you wanted my service, what do you think you'd be searching for? It's just a twist on that. As I say, because we all know